Often after a hair scramble race, I'll upload the full unedited race footage from my GoPro. The reason I do that is primarily because other people who are in the race like to watch the unedited video for times that they appear in the video. Or maybe someone who normally races missed that particular race and wants to see the course or how the race went. It's also relatively easy to get race footage out quickly when it's unedited and I've found that getting race videos out quickly after races is critical to get the most interest. I try my best to label the unedited videos very clearly and note on the thumbnail image that it's unedited. I know that my subscribers who aren't directly connected to Seca Racing aren't going to watch the full unedited race videos, so I always follow up with an edited version with highlights and commentary afterward. The unedited videos have been helpful for a lot of guys racing and they have definitely helped my watch time stats on YouTube with hundreds of hours of watch time accumulated from unedited race videos in 2018. Most of the time I can get the entire race on camera, even when motos are an hour and a half or two hours. People often ask me how I get the entire race on my GoPro and what camera I'm using. I've used a variety of cameras and I've found that I can get similar run times out of almost any action camera using a strategy based on the following five tips. Number one, fully charge the camera right before you use it. I fully charged my camera the night before the race and then I charged the camera again in the truck on the way to the race. I leave it connected to the charger until it's time to go to the starting line. Batteries lose their charge slightly over time and unless your battery is removable, the camera is always putting a slight drain on the battery even when the camera is off. Number two, don't turn the camera on until you're ready to start recording. And that may sound obvious but you should have all of your settings where you want them and your completely erased memory card inserted in, in the camera before the race. Try not to turn your camera on for any reason until you're ready to record. Number three, once you start recording, don't stop. Let the camera record continuously. Don't turn it on and off. For whatever reason, you won't get nearly as much record time out of the camera if you start and stop it. For me, I usually wait until the rows in front of me start leaving before I turn on the camera, especially when I know the moto is going to be longer than an hour. Number four, turn off all connections for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Keep all of your connections turned off. Connections will drain the battery faster than anything, even if the camera is not actually connected to a phone or anything else. Having these connections turned on even briefly will significantly impact your runtime. Again, have all of your settings done in advance of your event. Number five, record in 1080p, 30 frames per second. That's not the highest resolution for most cameras. Even the most basic cameras can typically record in 60 frames per second. But if your goal is to maximize runtime, recording in 1080p, 30 frames per second is a good compromise between video quality and long runtime. For example, when I race, I want to get the entire race on my GoPro, even when it's a two hour moto. 1080p, 30 frames per second gives me the best chance at that. The longest runtime I've gotten on a GoPro is an hour and 47 minutes at the 2018 Miller Creek Hair Scramble. I'll link that video in the description. For that race, I was using a GoPro Hero 5 Session. The camera died just about 100 yards prior to the finish. I've gotten several races at around an hour and 40 minutes. All of my race videos so far, except part of last year's 9 hour race, have been done with the Hero 5 Session. I like that camera for races because it's so light and you don't even know it's there. Most people think the battery life on the Session is terrible, but using the strategy above, I got an hour and 47 minutes with it. If you liked this video or found it helpful, please consider clicking that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I always read comments, so let me know your thoughts in the comment section and let me know your battery conserving strategies. Thanks for watching.